Welcome to the walkthrough of creating a CMS tabs component with a Webflow collection list. We're using CMS tabs in attributes and we're going to create a dynamic Webflow tabs component from our list. Let's go into attributes, let's go into these docs and see how it works. Step one for any attribute solution is to copy the script to the head of the page. And this script is specific to CMS tabs. So if we're working with CMS tabs, we're going to make sure that we have that script in here. There we go, we're saved. And now we're going to look at the attributes that we have to apply to this implementation. Let's go here and we have three elements. We have a collection list. This is going to be our, our dynamic content for the tabs. We have a Webflow tabs component. This is what's going to show this dynamic content. And then we have a div block or text block, which will act as the tab link. Let's get to all three, but start at this first one. Look at this, our collection list, which holds our dynamic content, is going to get the FS CMS tabs element list. So let me go in here and copy this to clipboard and I'll go into this collection list that we have on the page. This collection list is just a list. Look at this. This is just a normal collection list in Webflow. We have binded fields. We don't have any attributes applied. We don't have any settings applied. It's just a list. So we're going to go and add that attribute to this list and give it a value of list. Cool, now let's go to the next one, which is the tabs component. Look at this. We have a blank tabs component and we're going to give it the FS CMS tabs element tabs value. Now, what we're actually going to be doing once this is live is the item of the list is going to go inside the pane. So for every item we have in our collection list with this list attribute, we're going to create a new pane and each of the items will go into each pane. And when I say we, I mean the attribute scripts, the attributes implementation. We don't have to do this, attributes does. So let's go and see what this is about. I'm going to the tabs element. You can see here, this is the outer tabs element and I will go and give this tabs, right? That's what it was, tabs. Cool, okay, so now we've made the connection, the link between this tabs component and between our content. Now let's do this last element. This last element is I want this div block to be the element inside the tab link. Let's look at this. So I can have a div block or a text or something and that's going to show as the title of that panes tab. So if I have four items in my list, we're going to create four panes and four tab links. And this is to say, this is this content for this tab pane. Let's go and actually see this working. Um, and now that I see this, I don't know exactly what this is going to be. You know what? Let's create a brand new thing here. I'm going to call this our FS tabs dynamic tab link. This is going to have my text. That text is going to be the name. And I'll put an image in here just to show that we can work with images. Uh, very flexible. You can get very, very visual here. Hmm image from, let's do the testimony, no, not this, sorry. Primary, yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's call this the FS tabs dynamic tab image. Cool, we just want a little bit of style here so we can see that this is in fact working for us. Great. Okay, this is going to be our content here. 
So let's now go and add this attribute to the list. Let's, uh, sorry, not to the list. Let's add this attribute to the tab name. Let's see what this, what this is. FS CMS tabs element tab link. Perfect. So let's go in here and we're going to paste and this is going to be the tab link. Nice. Now I'm going to put this in a hidden wrapper. I don't want this to be in the pane content. This is what my tab panes will be. I just made this for the tab link. So I'm going to hide it from a parent element, keyword from a parent element. I don't want to apply display none because that will be carried over in the tab link. I want to put it inside of a parent that is hidden. And then I won't see it on this, but I will see it on this. So if everything went correctly, if we applied everything the right way, this should populate. And actually on our publish, I'm going to set this whole thing to display none. The collection list, what we have our list attribute on, I wanna set this to display none. It's going to stop any potential flickering for us. And when we load this page, we sh should see a populated tab um, with our panes. Let's see what this is. Okay, there we go. And look at this, we have our flexed tab links. We are now going back and forth between this content. We can add size to this div. We can add padding to this div. We can add width to this div. We can do anything we want. It's going to be added as the official tab link, whatever design we want to put in there. So there we go. We've just created a dynamic CMS tabs component with a collection list using CMS tabs with attributes. If you have any questions, if you have any trouble, please don't hesitate to reach out.